Ever feared the monster under your child's bed? Well, an unseen digital monster may be lurking on their Instagram. Picture this. Meta, the tech giant formerly known as Facebook, is being accused of playing the role of a digital boogeyman. In this modern tale, instead of dust bunnies and lost socks, this monster is allegedly collecting your child's personal information. Meta, the parent company of Instagram, is standing in the spotlight of some serious allegations. A court document from a federal lawsuit suggests that Meta has been knowingly allowing accounts belonging to children under the age of 13 to remain active. Not only that, but they've also been accused of collecting personal information from these accounts without parental consent. This isn't just a case of a few accounts slipping through the cracks either. We're talking millions of accounts, with hundreds of thousands of underage users spending more than five hours a day on the platform. So forget the boogeyman, the real monster might just be the Instagram app on your child's phone. Ever played hide and seek with your child? Imagine playing it with Meta, trying to hide your child's real age. Now that's a game you never thought you'd be part of, right? Well, the hide and seek we're talking about here isn't in a sunny park or your comfy living room. It's on Instagram. Meta, the parent company of Instagram, is in hot water for allegedly failing to verify the age of its users, particularly those below the age of 13. It's like they've been playing a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek with age verification, where the hiders are the underage users and Meta, well, they're not doing a great job of seeking, are they? The allegations suggest that Meta knew about accounts belonging to children under 13 but did little to disable them. It's as if Meta said, ready or not, here I come and then just sat down with a cup of tea, letting the underage users continue their game of hide and seek. But here's the twist. This isn't just a fun game. It's a serious issue with potential violations of privacy laws and concerns about children's safety online. Hide and seek was never this serious, was it? Remember feeding your kid's pet turtle? Well, Met has been feeding an algorithmic beast that might be harming your child. Picture this. Instead of cute little reptiles munching on lettuce, we've got algorithms gobbling up data, growing bigger and stronger with every bite. These algorithms aren't picky eaters either. They're just as happy to snack on your child's personal information as they are to nibble on the latest celebrity gossip. But here's where things get a bit gnarly. This algorithmic beast isn't just idly sitting in its digital terrarium. Nope, it's out there, guiding your kids, steering them toward content that might not be so kid-friendly. In fact, some say it's leading children down paths that could be harmful to their well-being. We're talking about negative social comparisons, body image issues, and content that could make them feel worse about themselves. Not exactly what you'd want your child's pet to do, right? And the worst part, despite the concerns raised, Meta allegedly refused to change its algorithm. It's like refusing to put your overgrown turtle on a diet, even when it's clearly not healthy. The result? A lawsuit accusing Meta of triggering intermittent dopamine releases in young users, leading to addictive cycles of consumption. Not a good look, Meta. So what's the solution? Well, the lawsuit seeks court orders to prohibit Meta from these practices and impose hefty civil penalties. That sounds like a start. But maybe, just maybe, it's time to put that algorithmic beast on a diet. After all, nobody wants an oversized data-hungry turtle messing with their kids ever had to clean up after a wild kiddie birthday party, well, Mita might be facing an even bigger clean-up. Imagine a party where the confetti is made of lawsuits and the balloons are blown up accusations. Not the kind of party you'd want to host, right? Now, the party didn't start overnight. Attorneys General from 33 states have stepped up to the plate, accusing Meta of collecting personal information from children without parental consent. Like the kid who ate too many sweets and is now bouncing off the walls. Meta allegedly refused to shut down most under-13 accounts on Instagram. This, my friends, is not just a breach of the house rules, but a violation of state consumer protection statutes and the children's online privacy protection rule. So what's the price tag for this extravagant party? Well, Meta could be looking at a bill that runs into hundreds of millions of dollars. That's more than a few ruined carpets and a broken vase. But more importantly, this could lead to significant changes in how Meta operates, particularly when it comes to age verification and data collection. And what about the guests of the party? The millions of kids who are active Instagram users? Well, they might find their party invitations revoked. 
as Meta faces pressure to do more to protect young users. With the party over, the music stopped. It's time for Meta to start the cleanup and reconsider its policies. So parents, while Meta cleans up its mess, maybe it's time to check what your child is feeding to the Instagram monster.